Good afternoon, I'm Catherine Gardette and I'm coming to you live from Cafe Vivace in Walnut Hills on the first Friday of Women's History Month in the United States. And I am joined today by Christine Hartley with the, oh I said it wrong didn't I? Hartley. Hartley, Christina mm -hmm. Hartley mm -hmm. with the Harriet Beecher Stowe House and we are history in the making in Walnut Hills. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to turn it to Christine to tell us about the Harriet Beecher Stowe House. Well, Harriet Beecher Stowe, of course, wrote Uncle Tom's Cabin, which is the premier anti-slavery novel of the 1800s. And Harriet grew up in New England, but she was able to write the book because of the 18 years that she lived here in Walnut Hills including the time where at her dad's college, the Lane Theological Seminary, there were abolitionist debates here in Walnut Hills in the 1830s. It was happening then. Is and it it's happening <laughs> now. And the thing that I'd like to point out about mm -hmm. that, because it's one of the history points that I'd like to talk about, is that it was the first place in the United States, right here in Walnut Hills, the blacks and whites sat in the same room and talked about slavery. Mm -hmm. So that is an important feature that we have. Yes. Now the house has been around for over a hundred years. It's 188 years old. And I know there's some remodeling going on. Can you tell us a little bit about that? We're starting embarking on a restoration effort. Uh, we're restoring some of the rooms to the Beecher era. But before we do that, we're actually doing the work to make sure that the house stays stable. So right now they are working on uh, the foundation. They discovered in their archeological work that some of the foundation only went down 18 inches and it's a 188 year old house. So that really explains a lot of the cracking issues that we have, but they're doing foundation work and then they're going to be doing masonry repair work. And so the facade, the west and north facades of the building will be restored to that 1940 period when the Beechers lived there. Uh, prior to that, we just had installed a new ramp so that we are accessible during the restoration and that ramp will go to the side door and that will be our new visitor entrance. So the building will be open the whole time that this is going on and tell us the hours that you are open. We are open Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, 10 to 4, and Sundays, 12 to 4. We'll, we'll say that again for you. So I want to know how you have come to be a part of the fabric of Walnut Hills at the Stowe House. Well, I spent 11 years as a high school social studies teacher. And as a teacher, I was very into social history. Uh, women's history, I taught African American history, and so I'm interested in the people, not the politicians and not the wars and not the military, but the people and how people make changes in their society, which is really what Harriet did. She took an issue, slavery, that many people in the North just didn't think about, mm -hmm. didn't affect them, and yet she made it real for people through her novel. That is so true. I love the fact that you're a social historian looking at the people of that. That's a, a very good way because as many of you know, the way that history is made is what we do today is history tomorrow. So you <laughs> never know how impactful what you're doing will have on the world. True. It's a great thing that you are making relationships in the neighborhood as well. Can you tell us about some of those relationship building that you're just great to have around? <laughs> We're good partners with the Walnut Hills Historical Society and are doing a lot of great work in the community and bringing out the history of this integrated place, which has been integrated since the 1840s and 50s. Uh, we are also going to be partnering with the Freedom Center, the National Underground Railroad Freedom Center, on an exhibit later this year. They have a national exhibit from the Smithsonian coming about the Green Book. Well. The Harriet Beecher Stowe House was a Green Book site in the 1930s. So in the 1930s, a hundred years after the Beechers lived there, it was actually an African-American boarding tavern that was listed in the Green Book. So we're providing that local connection to the Freedom Center's national exhibit. I have had the pleasure of knowing that they're doing some historical workshops at the house as well. Can you talk about where that might expand in the future and what some of them are do you 
the t <laughs> so it's a tatting workshop is that oh, I, I was see what you're yes. saying. okay so uh, yes it's something that we've started recently uh, 19th century needlepoint and so tatting is lace making uh, one of our good friends partners Kay Boniface is teaching people how to do this almost lost craft well she probably wouldn't say it's lost I don't know how to do it but that's okay I learned how to do it when I was really young <laughs> So, but our first workshop sold out and we have a second one in the works and we've already filled up most of those spots as well. Yes. So it's great to hear about history in a, in a community and right here in Walnut Hills, you know, the Harry Beecher Stowe House is such an impactful place for us. So tell us once again, the hours, how to get involved and a phone number if that's available. Okay, so the hours for the museum are Thursday, Friday and Saturday, 10 to four. Sundays 12 to 4 but we will also do group by appointment and also we have a large number of school groups and other community organizations that come at various times just give us a call or use our website the number is 513-751-0651 and the website is Stowhouse Cincy so Stowhouse C-I-N-C-Y dot org Thank you so much for spending time with me this afternoon. I love that we have such history right here in our neighborhood. I love that the leadership is passionate about the history that we have from a social impact. And that's how community develops, is by individuals getting involved. So I thank you for taking just a few minutes to be with us here, live from Cafe Vivace, brought to you by Soapbox Media and a Facebook Journalism Award. Have a great afternoon. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you.